I can't even express how many times that you guys have asked to see this video, but I'm finally filming it. Today I'm going to be showing you how I use my Dyson air wraps to get this kind of signature curly blow dry look that I do pretty much every week. I'll be telling you all my best tips and tricks as to how to use the Dyson. Hope you enjoy and find this video helpful. Let's get started. So this is the box that my Dyson came in. I'll try and leave a link to this down below, but I've definitely got one for long hair because my hair is long. And in here I keep all the tools and also some bits that I help when I style. So here's the main compartment and then I've got some heat protectant. I've got some clips to tie my my hair back got like the warranty and stuff in here as well this needs a bit of a clean but I use this for my fringe and to give some volume in the roots and for the majority of the time I use the kind of skinny long um, tong barrels as opposed to the thicker ones I did go through a phase of using these but the curls were a lot looser kind of more of a general blow dry style I'll try and leave a picture of that down below so these are the ones I'll be using today so one of the things I absolutely love about the Dyson air wrap is the fact that I can style it from wet and it won't damage my hair as much so I used to really hate the fact that I'd have to like wash my hair and then either blow dry it or wait for it to dry which could take a really long time before I could style it. I just had to factor way more time into my kind of getting ready routine but with this because you can style from wet you don't need to worry so I washed my hair, quickly did my makeup but it is still very very wet so I'm kind of parting it into two sides and then I want to use some heat protecting. I kind of switch this up depending on what I've got. I'm about to finish the GHD heat protect spray so I'm going to use that today. I'm also going to go in with some Red Ken One United All-in-One Hair Benefit Treatment. It's got heat protectant and it's also just good for like conditioning the hair and keeping it nice and soft. Occasionally as well I'll use the Olaplex number 6 Bond Smoother. This is leave-in, reparative style cream, reduces frizz, nourishes and protects. And then for some reason, just out of habit, I always start with this side of my hair. So I'm going to get the barrel that faces kind of the opposite way in the mirror. That, that bit I found really difficult to kind of understand when I started getting going with this. Do pick it up. You want the hair going away from the face, not towards the face. I'll leave kind of this much down. And then I'll take a bit from the back and I'll literally turn it on. I normally have it on the highest settings for everything. And that is pretty much it. So I guess my technique is once it's wrapped around, I like to take a brush and just brush it through kind of around the barrel. I find that way it dries the hair quicker and it maybe gets to hair that it can't necessarily dry, if that makes any sense. I do it with your fingers as well, so I'll show you that. So to do it with my fingers to make sure that kind of the hair gets drier quicker, I'll show you what I do. It's quite noisy. And I will always finish with a blast of cool air at the end. Um, and that's really easy to do just by kind of flicking the on button upwards and holding it there. Um, I'll do this big bit. <laughs> And that is like the first section done. So it is very, very quick and easy. Um, so I'm gonna do the rest and I'll come back and show you in a bit. Okay, it can't be that loud and scary because I don't know if you can see, but I've got a cat behind me. The first few times I um, use this, he ran out the room, he didn't like it at all. But now I think he's so used to me doing it that he can just sit here whilst it happens. So I should also say that sometimes I let the barrel kind of collect the hair, oh he's going now, collect the hair itself, but sometimes I kind of help it wrap around depending on kind of how wet that piece of hair is. I find kind of the slightly more dry, the easier it is for it to kind of get cat caught by the air like this. <laughs> And then I always leave the fringe bits till last. I'll show you how I do that because I use this um, attachment for my fringe. The hair is a bit more wet, so I'll show you how I kind of help it. So I just put it there and 
kind of give it a little bit of a head start if that makes sense. Right, all of this side is done. As you can see, some of the curls are quite kind of high and tight. I let those just cool down like that and I'll brush them out at the end. Like you don't need to worry if it looks a bit silly right now. But yeah, I'm gonna start again on this side. And also just to confirm, I've got it on like the most powerful fan and the hottest setting. Probably, yeah, not the best for my hair, but that's, if I don't have it on the hottest, then I find that the curls aren't kind of as strong. And because we're moving on to the other side of the hair now, I need to change the attachment. So I just press down on this, lift that off by the pink thing, cause that's not hot, and then put the new one on. And yeah, just making sure it's, the arrow is going away from my face. That's a kind of good little pointer as well. I know when it's had enough cool air because I can kind of put my hand around the barrel and it's not really hot to touch. When you are like, yeah, touching the barrel, it can get very hot, so just keep that in mind. But when I'm like moving the hair up and down the barrel with my fingers, I tend to use my nails, otherwise I would probably burn my skin. <laughs> my whole head of hair but I haven't done my fringe so I'm going to show you how I do that now. Detach the tongs and put on this kind of spiky round thing instead. I'm going to clip the rest of my hair back so I'm just left with my fringe. I am going to put this on the medium heat setting because I don't want it so hot and I'm basically going to put it here wrap my hair away from my face. And kind of just roll it backwards if that makes sense i'll show you that and then you're left with this but once i kind of sort that it will be a lovely kind of outwards flick i'm gonna do that one more time so you can see that again There we go, and that's my fringe done. So if I put the rest of my hair down, kind of push it back, um, yeah, that just, it looks so good. And with a little bit of hairspray, that should stay. And then I guess the only other tip that I have is sometimes to get more of kind of volume in the root, I'll take this again and I'll use it normally before I curl the rest of my hair kind of get some volume in the root so for example a bit of hair like that and then put it on and I don't know if you can see it just adds a little bit of volume so if I was to do that like all around my hair this bit for example yeah it just adds some volume Ideally you do that kind of before you did the rest of your hair. So yeah, this is my hair Like I could potentially just leave it like this. The curls are a bit too tight for me though. So I'll show you from the back Hope you can see this. I don't know if I'm on screen But I am going to finish it off with some Olaplex number six and I normally like to go in with some sort of oil or serum. So Coco and Eve Miracle Hair Elixir, Elixir is the one that I've been using most frequently. First, the only flex. Just like that, just running my fingers through my hair. And then I'll go in with a bit of the hair serum as well. And then it should look something like this. So kind of the curls kind of join together. I don't normally brush my hair, but I am gonna do for this just to show you. And if you brush it, you just get these very romantic big curls as opposed to these kind of more 
separate individual ones. Notice today is that I could have taken the curls a bit higher. That's just preference, I guess, as to how far down you want the curls to start. Um, but if I wanted to do that, I'd just get the correct side again, pick up kind of a bit of hair from the top, and I would start kind of from the middle. And then it kind of starts to curl a bit higher. So yeah, you can really just play around with how you want it basically. This is how it looks after I styled it. And I'm very lucky to have hair that kind of holds a curl quite well. So this will last me pretty much until my next wash. Some of the curls will drop a bit, but it still kind of looks and has that blow dry kind of vibe to it. Yeah, I really don't have any tips on how to hold make the curl hold a bit more and um, maybe just blast it with some more cold air hairspray sleep in it tied up to kind of keep the curls i always sleep with my hair tied up hope you've enjoyed this video and got some new tips and tricks for the dyson let me know how you use it as well always looking for new ways i think the possibilities are kind of endless with this i'll see you soon